Hi there, it's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Hello, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and welcome back. If you're new, then hello and welcome. It's always nice to, to have new people. Um, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, leave me a comment and a like. It's always appreciated. Big thank you to my Patreons and my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. Uh, without you, um, you know, I wouldn't have the time uh, to be able to devote to making videos um, every single day. So thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who takes time uh, to watch the videos and comment on the videos. Um, and like and, and all the rest of it so thank you very much so we're well I suppose we're drawing to an end of um, this series really um, there's still going to be a few to go but um, if this is the first one you've caught then the rest of the videos are in my winter uh, playlist so you might want to uh, catch up there. I don't know. It's hard to tell what this is going to... Let's do it that way. I can see the imprint a bit better. So obviously those... I mean, I don't have to cut the corners off, but I'm feeling like I want this to be a tag. I think that's too much. So shall I go for... I think I'm going to go for the bird. So... That's going to go like come in and I want to think that I've got stitching round so I don't want to go too near. I'm going to put that lovely uh, deer there and then I don't know why I was going to say I've got a sausage roll. I haven't got a sausage roll. <laughs> what I have got is, <laughs> is part of a log. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know why I said sausage roll. So I think that's going to go there. Um, I'm wondering what that will look like, you know, with spare uh, space. But obviously, I can't just have things willy-nilly um, flying out. I suppose we could do that. If it's too bare, then I can put that other branch um, there. And I was thinking I've got this little uh, robin here, which I could place then on the top like so. So, shall we give it a go? I you know if this doesn't print out very well obviously i'm gonna have to rip some more material up so it's gonna be a uh. um you know heart in in my mouth um moment maybe it will be for you too but <laughs> it, it doesn't have to be perfect i'm not looking for total perfect you know but obviously we need you know a decent enough imprint so it looks as if it's totally covered let's just pay attention to that middle part and make sure i've got no wet ink on it okay so if i put it down and i'm going to probably overhold it down because obviously once i've lifted it up it's too late so let's just press down without squadging Okay, are we ready? Oh, that's super. That's really, really nice. Lovely. So let's not get too um, ha -ha about it. <laughs> We've got a few more left. Right, so I'm going to put it to the top, even though I think probably putting it in the middle is better, but I'm just thinking I can see better. So let's do um this one and this is lovely it's got like mushrooms and uh greenery growing out of the log i always like to see that you know where you've got a cut down tree which is i mean they do sprout back don't they but um you know kind of not growing as it would normally but then you've got all this new life um that's created right so that is that well it's not but i think i might do the little bird next okay you can see we've got like an air bubble there i don't know if that's gonna have made any kind of difference i don't know right are we ready 
Ta -da! Wish I'd have gone higher. Um, Cause obviously I do want to say around it. I'm really pleased with how this is uh, coming, coming out. And say so these are the kinds of things where you think, oh, I could do all this and it'd just be a right old mess, so I'm not going to bother. But, um, yeah, I'm glad glad I have. So I'm going to have that part there, I think. Okay, let's pick that up. So I don't know if I said I'm using the archival ink. This is kind of like um, material, like sheets. Um, I think it was sent to me. I, I can't remember who sent it, but if you did send it, thank you very much. Um, this kind of material always just come, come in handy. So I think, I think that's okay. So that's about that. Where it's fell. Maybe in hindsight, um, I could have used another ink and maybe done a leaf pattern. Um, you know, stenciled it to to fill it in. Oh, I think that's fine. I mean, would I be able to? just get some ink and see this is always the quandary isn't it should i shouldn't i looks like i am but i'm just gonna do it there and hope that yeah that's fine um <clears throat> i mean i suppose i could get like a black pen and fill that in i'm not going to get like all oh, right i'm going to put that bit in because i think that's when it will go go wrong but um yeah that looks fine then i'm going to put the little bird um on here like so i think that'll be rather cute i don't know what that is Yeah, that's super lovely. Right, so do I want this on? It's going to have green stitching round. That's going to be off. I don't think it does, you know. I think if I add like another piece of holly and do it down, that would be nice. But <laughs> I don't think I have. Um, I don't think there was any holly in that. Uh, Tim Holtz was they but it would be a big a bigger pattern so I think I'm going to leave it um like that so yeah really chuffed with that so I've got a sharpie let's um <laughs> let's just have a, I don't know if it all like bleed into the material or not but if I just do it lightly I mean I'm not a, a drawer at all If I just do some, yeah, I think that's okay. Never thought about doing that before. I mean, it's not the shape that it should be, but you know, um, I don't think I think even I'll forget about that. Right, let's get some. Shall I do Kalau? Yeah. Now I don't need loads on, but I need enough to you know stick it down and i don't want any bagginess in the middle and stuff so if i'm not pressing on the bottle very much just trying to get get glue everywhere and uh, just get a thin a thin thin and i think that'll be fine that's um start at the top anything that's um over i can cut it cut it off 
maybe not as much as that but <laughs> and I actually want to do make sure the bottom fits it doesn't so much batter batter matter about the top because some of that can be cut off oh that's lovely right let's make sure let's just put it over this side yeah that's super so I leave that to, to dry because we've got those other tags that I need to get sewn which I will do you know ready for the next one so once it's dry I'm going to cut those off put a no, I'm not going to put a hole in. I'm going to sew round, and then I'm going to put a hole in. And um, I've got green cotton in the machine, so I'm going to get a nice uh, green ribbon or something. Um, if it still looks a little bit bare, I could still actually go in with the stencil, couldn't I? But I'll see what it looks like once the stitching's on and uh, the toppers on. So yeah, that's that. I'll put that over near my uh, sewing machine. Yep, put those back over that. Okay, really now we're looking for a piece to go to go there. Like I say, I can make something, but I'm going to see if I've already got something um, made. So, um, I definitely don't want any more belly bands. I've got some full page pockets, which would be uh, too big. Um, I don't know how to do this like I've got these uh, ones which have got the belly bands which that's not what I'm looking for because it'd fill the thing and I've got a band there I've got these uh, pockets which I think are too fresh uh, and green I've got a pile of different uh, belly bands um, I mean that would fit in uh, theme wise but I really don't don't want another belly band um because we've got the other one in there haven't we so yeah i don't want another belly band so what else have we got got an envelope pocket got those with the vellum on from book pages some more things with book pages quite like that I don't feel like it's big enough, but nope, too too botanically, <laughs> too botanically. I think a lot of these will be too botanically. This is a, an envelope flip, which actually that would go really nice. Um, I love the colour of that and that. I would just have to cover that bit. Um cover the back and then open it up so that's a good possibility we've already used one of those um i've got that which would fit in nice but it's not it's not going to cover a lot of uh space i've got lots of these little pockets i think all these are tiny that's a nice one well they're all nice and just yeah quite like that but maybe it's it's too too brown I don't want that they're from Kets too green so they was corner pockets mm, that's nice they're too small no I don't really want to not see that which that's why I like the that goes around um, a page another one of those oh that's a nice one I feel like it's too too green too green well that's nice oh that is nice but no I don't feel like it goes well enough oh sorry I hope um, I'm filming the right way so I could have that across and it opens up it's a possibility and then that could be a maybe that one's a little bit too green I know I've got that's a, a flip down 
that's the flip out flip down and flip out <laughs> flip pocket over the page pocket little envelope there's some more of those that i made all these are on film um a lot of them are in the botanical series and the rest are in uh the woodland playlist i think i've got three different uh woodland playlists i have tried to well i started um separating like the uh um, that's nice um the embellishment type things um so they're on separate they're in the proper playlist but they're also in um that's nice but it's only a flip out i do feel like i want another type of uh, pocket that's a flip out and is that a pocket no i think it's just a flip out and it's just thick because i did it on packaging yeah it's not a it's not a pocket they're just window flip outs but they're a bit too fresh another flip out <coughs> yeah i've made made a lot of stuff that's what i say i've got tons of stuff but um obviously when i got oh that's that's nice but again that's a journal card hmm. a bit thin to, to go in there and say so it's looking as if this is going to be the the best um, what's this oh that flips off. oh that goes over the page these are little uh, So yeah, when I start making botanicals this year, um, I am not making much ephemera, only, you know, what I need to make. I need to get some of this uh, used up. So I love these, but it's, it's not, they're just a little bit too, too green. I can say I do think I used, um, might put that in one of the pockets because I've got quite a few of those. That's a little flap. Right, what else have I got? Let's <coughs> get those. Well, they're flip outs. Love those. They was in the botanical uh, altar file folder that I did. Got loads of those. What's that? I think that's a little note, but oh, it's a little pocket thing. Right, so none of those. Then I think the rest are tags. Tags, tags. Don't think that fit in. Tags. I must start making more journal cards. I seem to make tags. Little notebook. Couple of little notebooks. Oh, a nice big journal card there. Which I'm thinking if I have a pocket there. That there. Maybe that's a little bit too big. I'm really liking that. But it makes that stick out a bit. But that would be like that. Ah, I could take, I suppose I could take that off, which it would be a shame. Hmm, might keep that out. In there. Could maybe cut it down. Maybe. It's a journal card. Right, I think that's it. I think everything else is envelopes. No. These are all quite greenish envelopes mm, that would have been perfect if it's green 
that lot and just fit across them nice but yeah it's too too green what's that opening nice and <laughs> take too much of that mistletoe i've gone to the lengths of cutting that mistletoe out so i want to want to show it show it off oh will one of these postcards fit in there nice i think these are all butterflies i mean color wise that's nice oh there's a postcard right i think i'll put that postcard in there I don't think I've got right I've nearly done right so that's <coughs> that's it but yeah this this box is uh, full so yeah I probably will put a few more sets up in in the shop once I, you know, start working um, through it. When I realise, Tanya, you're never going to be able to use all this up. Oh, dear. I've had it out a few times and put it in a nice order. And then, obviously, once you're going through it, look at that. I can't wait to use those. Um, yeah, then you obviously don't put it back up in the right so yeah I'm not going to use that right so that is that oh, put that up there um, okay so I've put that little specimen in there I think that fits in there nicely so first I'm going to get this attached so I'm thinking I can take um, a lot of the flap off so I need enough to um, thingy. I don't know quite what the word is, what I'm looking for. But, and maybe I could wash it, tape it down. Let's have a look. I've got that um, Tim Holtz fabric one, but I don't think that's going to, it's not going to go with that, is it? I don't think it won't not go it just it's a little bit out of place isn't it for for what's going off but that would have probably held it really nice um i haven't really got any greens i mean that's a bit too bright for be fine in the spring so i'd have to glue that down I mean, I could go with the, the deer one that I've got, but it's, it's a bit too brown. Right, so that's a no. So, it looks like I'm going to have to use a piece of paper. I wonder if I've got any of that scrap. Yeah. So, that's what, what I'll do. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is glue this flap, let's take that out, glue this flap, I think I don't have to go over, yeah I'm just going to go over a little bit. I'm not bothered about going in the envelope a bit because obviously this postcard has got lots of room. I mean, I could, you know, go up a lot further. So I'm going to place this over the top of this. Like so. Yeah, and I'm just going to leave that a minute. Why that minute's going... I'm going to cut this part of the envelope down <clears throat> and then we need some um, paper to cover, to cover the bag. Let's have a look at that. Yep. That's 
open. And so on to tub for this. So let me just get my tubs out. And to put it right in the middle at the top. Can you see? Quite a bit of glue on because it's quite thick and glossy. Uh, this postcard. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Um, just gonna ink around it. That's better. Oops. <coughs> right, let's have a look. Have I got any scraps big enough to cover the whole of the, the back? Ooh. Yeah, that might be nice. Yeah, I'm going to do it. <coughs> do it in that. Right, let's... Um, so, if I just put it from there all the way down then go down there there yep I need to go a bit in and go around the edge go right around the edge because obviously um, I'm not matting it it's going square on it's not going to be you know an edge around it which is a shame because this is lovely tea dye and I think this is actually when I used a coffee dye or it might be the uh, red bush tea that I use because <coughs> I've not used that for a while but it gives it a nice um, orangey look. thinking now what kind of pocket I don't really want to do another vellum uh, pocket I'm thinking a green one um, So I would like to get this part finished uh, today and then when we come back we can start on on the journal. I think with the journal what I'm going to do is get some tea stained papers cut and sewn in. Um, the back of that cover does need um, covering because I've just you know printed it on card. So I could collage the inside of it actually to use some of the scraps up and then if I get some papers sewn in and then I can start making a few pockets and putting them in and I can keep checking how, how thick the fold is actually getting. So I think that's the way I'm going to do it. If I put like um do a middle page spread first and then put a pocket in the front and the back see how that is. Um, and then, you know, put a pocket at the front, pocket at the back and keep doing that um, until it's it's getting thick enough. So 
so I think that's the way I'm going to do it rather than just doing a journal and then going oh my goodness it's too thick I don't believe it uh, so yeah I think that's how, how I'm going to do it right so let's do this pretty high actually because then you can open that and go oh look at that so I'm glad I had a look in my um thing I, I was thinking that there just would not be anything at all so at least I found something I'm saying I think this has got you know right amount of brown and that nice uh, green um, popping out it's a bit more fresh looking without uh, being too fresh right so I'm going to do that right to the top Slide it, make sure it's not in the in the crease. Oh, that's lovely. Make sure that goes over. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's put the card in. No. That's it. Right, we're in. So that is that. Yeah, lovely. Right, let's rip that off. So I would like this in here because I think it's a lovely um, journal card, uh, tag. And again, I think it's got, you know, enough green and brown. So I am going to take this off because I don't like how it... Um, see, this... I've like tied a knot in this so let's take that off and retie it so yeah I'm thinking I might do one with green card I don't know if I said that earlier when I was thinking right let's I'm hoping this will just make it a little bit more flatter. Yeah, a little bit, nothing major. But yeah, I think that'll be fine. So if if I can find somewhere else for that to go, maybe on here. Oh, I'll put it on here actually. That was the time that I tried the um, em is it embossing. That way, you melt the stuff. Um, it didn't go very well. Must get that out again next year and and give it another another go. All right. Not gonna lie. No, it's right to front on you. I'm gonna stop the film and start again. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better uh, on there. So that's that. Right, I had got a pre-made uh, pocket. It's like a, a from a die. Uh, what Violet sent me. No, I think that's looking too. But the question is, obviously, I can bring it in. Does that green go? Is it too green? And, or, I've got this, but I don't know if it but I was thinking of cutting the top off um, and making some hinges. Um, you know, maybe that would do. So, do we like that? I quite like that. Yeah, I like it. Right, so, let's do that. So, I'm going to cut the top off because this is um, printed on quite thick card. I don't need that for stability. So, we need to go across there and then... Cut that off there. Cut 
cut that off about there and then cut that off about there then I've got a pop cap Yeah, I like that. Now, I've, there's a tear there. I don't know if I've just done it or or if it was there. So, <coughs> let's have a look what that washi tape would look like. Isn't it? But I don't know how I feel about just having half a half a head. Right, that would be okay. That is the the only thing with these patterned ones. I mean, if it's just flowers or leaves and that, it doesn't really matter. I didn't measure that very really good. Right, let's give that a good, good rub down. Okay, so yeah, like that. So let's give it a ink around. And I need to get my um, thingy and just give it a bit of a squash, squash down, make it flat. So yeah, by the time I come back next time, I'll have got the two journal cards and the tag uh, sewn, sewn around. Um, and then that's the actual folio done. And um, yeah, I'll get some papers cut. And ready. And then we'll collage the inside of the... Um, <coughs> cover then we'll get the papers sewn in see what it feels like with those in because I mean I could go with that it's a blank journal so we'll get the papers in first and then if we have got some room then we'll start putting some stuff in so next one could be the last one or you know there could be another two two after that depending how much we can get in but obviously I've no ephemera as you know to talk of to put in so um I'm either going to have to print out some some of the ephemera again which I really don't want to do because obviously this project was about using everything up or I'll just make my own ephemera with the papers what I left I've still got quite a few papers left um, so we can obviously use envelopes and paper and stuff and, and make pockets and tags and what have you. <laughs> Everyone's just got in there. I'm going to say Alan has just got in. Ryan's just got in. Right. That's not straight at the bottom, but it's straight there. So something's not straight, but... I'd prefer it being straight, straight there, okay, and then we'll pop that in. Like so, I'll take that out in a minute till it's dried. That's that, that's that, that's that, so yeah, it's starting to 
Um, so, but this is, I don't know, I think we'll be all right. But obviously, you know, the string's only so, so long. So we'll see. See how we go. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's it for today. Um, hope to see you back tomorrow. Um, and yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Shall see you later. Bye for now.